In centuries past, the area of present-day Nepal was dominated by various clans and small independent kingdoms. From one of these kingdoms, a prince was born, who later renounced his status completely to pursue the path of enlightenment. Today, he is revered as the founder of the world religion of Buddhism and worshipped by most Buddhist schools as an enlightened being who transcended the cycle of rebirth. In the centuries following his death, Nepal came to be established as a land of spirituality and refuge, playing an extremely important role in transmitting Buddhism to East Asia. The Buddha did not appoint a successor or specify any rules regarding monastic life. Individual monasteries are expected to make decisions collectively through regular gatherings of the community. Male novices may ordain at a very young age, but generally no younger than eight. After their daily morning prayer and meditation, the boys enjoy recess. Buddhist monks and nuns are first and foremost expected to provide a living example to the community, living an austere life focused on the study of Buddhist doctrine, meditation, and the observance of good moral character. It's time for lunch. A traditional Buddhist diet is strictly vegetarian. Historically, one member of the community would be appointed the duty of being the head cook and supplying meals that paid respect to Buddhist ideals. Often working on a tight budget, the monastery cook would have to make the most of whatever ingredients were available. As a result, across the wide Buddhist world, many regional styles of cooking developed. Unlike other schools of Buddhism that are strictly vegetarian, sometimes Tibetan Buddhist monks eat meat as a concession to the harsh climactic conditions that make a plant-based diet largely unfeasible. After lunch, the monks are expected to refrain from eating until noon the next day in order to practice self-discipline. 